This is Abby. She and her husband, Tom, are trying to start a family while struggling to afford the high cost of living in California. Abby and Tom have been saving every penny that they can to afford the down payment on a new home, which they're hoping to move into before their first child arrives. This has been no easy task, given that homes in California are more than two times as expensive as they are in the rest of the country. Abby and Tom finally have enough to begin searching for a home when... Mass and so it is decided that all new homes must be built with solar panels. Ah, oh, but won't that increase the cost of the average home by $10,000? And won't the cost of inspections, cleanings, and repairs also cost homeowners an average of another $1,000 annually? And isn't California already the poorest state in the union when factoring in cost of living? Wouldn't this likely be the biggest and costliest change in the last 40 years of the CPIA's history at a time when regular Californians are struggling horribly? No! Now we'll never be able to afford a home. But at least the environment will be helped. Maybe, maybe not. Solar energy has its benefits, sure, but it has a lot of drawbacks as well. Because most energy consumption takes place at night when the sun isn't shining, lots of energy needs to be stored in batteries, which are terrible for the environment. Not only that, but it's extremely expensive. Germany, which leads the world in solar energy consumption, has some of the highest utility bills because of it, and solar still only accounts for less than 10% of their energy consumption. I guess not everyone can appreciate the genius of our policy making. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out fee.org for more educational content. Thank you.